Dream. What's up, nieces and nephews? It's your boy, Chad. And it's your boy, Uncle Berg, here today. First of all, guys, happy Thanksgiving. But, guys, today we're going to be reacting to a video made by Young Don, the Saucy Guy. The title of the video is called I Lost a Thousand Dollars at School. Ooh. Animated Star. Guys, the original video link will be down in the description box below. And guys, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure subscribe. you guys subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And guys, without further ado, let's slide to the reaction. Let's get it. Ten minutes away from the school, she turns around to me while still driving and looks me square in the face and says, Son, if you are lying and you have me waste my time and embarrass myself in front of your principal, I am going to beat you senseless in front of the whole school. So I feel obligated to say up front that this story took place in Jamaica. Which means I lost a thousand Jamaican dollars, not American dollars, which, in case you didn't know, there is a small difference in value between the two. And by small difference, I mean today a thousand Jamaican dollars is equivalent to seven American dollars and 89 cents. So, uh. Yeah. But, but at the time, at the time of the story, a thousand Jamaican dollars was worth more like 15 to 20 American dollars. Which I get to some people is still not that much money. And yeah, I get that because what is, what's 20 dollars, right? Nigga, that's like two trips to Chipotle, big fucking deal. But you gotta keep in mind, at the time, I was still in high school in Jamaica. I was like 13 years old. I had no sense at all of what money was worth. I didn't know what a lot of money was. One, partly because I didn't have any. At that age, the most money I probably ever had at one time was like $200. And that was after a really good Christmas and a year of starving myself so that I could save my lunch money. And two, because I grew up with black Caribbean Parents. I heard all the typical sh that black parents say to their kids when it comes to money. If I left the lights on in a room, I'd hear, Hey boy, you better turn off the light, let me know, come say, now nah, pay the light bill. If I'd asked to stop at Burger King after school any day except a Friday, I'd hear, Oh, you want Burger King? Hold on, say, yeah, Burger King money. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna go into a store, my mom would look at me and say, Christopher, we are about to go into this store. I'm going to get A, B, and C. So don't go walking around looking for something for me to get you because I'm not getting it. In fact, I want you to stay right beside me the whole time. As a matter of fact, don't even touch anything. Don't even look at anything. You know what? Don't even breathe. I swear to God, I swear to God, if you breathe, oh, Father Jesus, help me. <laughs> so that's why when I lost the thousand Jamaican dollars that my mom gave me for lunch money that week at school I seriously thought that she was going to murder me and there was no way that she wasn't gonna find out because I lost it on Monday there was no way that I was gonna make it the whole week with zero money so there I was sitting in my room after school accepting the fact that the money was gone and I had to tell my mom so of course I now had to decide what it is that I was gonna tell her I decided that my best option was to tell her the truth fast forward a few hours later, my mom's back home from work and I'm standing in her room ready to break the news to her. She's like, hey son, how was your day at school? And then I open my mouth and say, uh, it was... It was terrible. She's like, why, what happened? And then I say, it was terrible because a guy stole all of my lunch money, mommy. Yes, nigga, I lied, okay? I lied. I lied to tell her that I lost the money. So I figured that if I told her that someone took it, she wouldn't be mad at me and we just dropped the issue. Unfortunately, I guess I didn't take into account a very important fact that I stated earlier. I grew up with black... Caribbean parents. So, when I told my mom that a dude at school took my lunch money, instead of being all like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that happened to you, baby, and just wanting to let it go, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, who took your money? And even though that's what she said with her mouth, her eyes said, you are going to show me the good for nothing piece of sh that stole from my baby. And 
I am going to rip his tongue out through his asshole and feed it to the dogs. I didn't see that shit Partly because I had never been in a situation where I told my mom that someone at school was harassing me. I didn't know she was gonna go full on revenge of the Sith on me, so she caught a nigga off guard. I was like, who? Oh, uh, it was uh, a <laughs> this, this guy. I don't, I don't know his name. He was, he was uh, older, like maybe, maybe a grade or or two or three, three grades above me. He, he was tall, but not like not. Not like that tall, and he had like light skin, but he was like really, really tan, kind, kind of <laughs> crisp, really. But you could tell he was naturally light skin, and he had long black hair, but it was it was really curly, so it looked short. And he probably stayed in the sun a lot, so it got like kind of brown. I basically described 90% of the entire male population at my school, and just for shits and giggles, I threw in a oh, he had a scar on his face. I, I think it all happened so fast. I literally invented a nigga in an attempt to not get in trouble. She says to me, tomorrow we are going to go to your school, we are going to go to the principal, you are going to describe the person to her, and then we are going to go class by class until you see the person who took your money. I am going to make him pay for what he do to you. So fast forward to the next morning and I'm in the car with my mom as we're driving to school. And it was a quiet ride. Me in the back having an internal panic attack as my mom is up front channeling all her chakras. As she prepared to destroy some imaginary teenage dude for stealing the money that I lost. We pull up to a stoplight halfway to school and during the pause, she looks up at the rear view mirror and she and I make eye contact. We lock eyes only briefly, but it was enough for her to peer into the depth depths of my soul. After a few tense seconds, I break away, but it was too late. I knew that she knew. The light turns green and the journey continues. After a few more minutes of silent driving, my mom calls my name and we lock eyes again in the rearview mirror. And then with a calm but dark tone, she asks, Christopher, did that boy really take your lunch money or did you lose it? At that moment, my stomach sank into my ass. This whole was caught. But instead of coming clean, I doubled down with the lie. I couldn't afford to get in trouble for both lying and losing a week's worth of lunch money. I say to her, no mom, that guy stole my money. She says nothing. The drive continues in deafening silence. Ten minutes away from the school, she turns around to me while still driving and looks me square in the face and says, son, if you are lying and you have me waste my time and embarrass myself, in front of your principal, I am going to beat you senseless in front of the whole school. I had never been more scared of my mother than at that moment. I couldn't hold it together any longer. I came clean. I told her everything and I apologized for lying to her. She turns back around and continues to drive, saying nothing. The next thing I know, we pull off to the side of the road. And after a pause, <laughs> my mom says, get out of the car and take off your belt. I begged. I pleaded, Mom, please. <laughs> no, don't do that. This is a right now. Without a doubt, someone I know is going to see you whooping my ass. Get out of the car. I get out, and then my mom did exactly what any black Caribbean mother would do in that situation. She beat my ass for all of the city of Kingston to bear witness. Moral of the story, honesty really is the best policy, especially if you have black Caribbean. <laughs> he could've just got a whooping at the house, bro. Yeah, What's up, fam? It's a boy, yo. I'm down to sauce guys. Today's winner of their very own sound. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video because we did. It was <laughs> hey, it was really funny though. That's <laughs> yeah, crazy because I feel like black Caribbean parents have a lot to you know that we can relate with black American parents. Yeah. Because it's basically almost the same. Cause that's something my mama would have did too. Yeah. But guys, um if you like the video, please like, comment, share. Subscribe. subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe if you rock with us this far. And guys, a hey, happy Thanksgiving. We love you. Stay safe. Peace. Dang.